Hey everyone, I'm going to do a real quick video using a bloggy, the Sony bloggy touch just to see what kind of video it does. So I've got that set up here. Um, I had a question about this adapter for the NEX, the Sony NEX um, 5. And keep in mind, I'm not a professional, I'm just amateur. I like toys and stuff so <clears throat> I'll answer as best I can um, what I looked for in the adapter is they have the ones that have this uh, this says lock and open so you can lock your aperture open and uh, <clears throat> for a lens like this that can draw in a lot of light it's uh, it's nice to be able to to lock it open you see how small it is now I want to lock it open I want to take video now it'll draw in a lot of light and everything's nice and crisp when there's just a lamp on in the corner and then um, I think I paid $29 for it on eBay <clears throat> my Nikon lenses are G lenses if you have you know check which lens you have before you order one of these because it's specific to the NEX but the other end is specific to whatever lens that you need it to be so for me it was the G lens and um, so with that, the other question I had, that answers that, uh, the other question I had was um, how to do manual focusing on it. Um, well, the easy answer is to uh, turn the ring here until it comes into focus. So, I don't know if you can see that. Oh, going the wrong way with it. There. So his plates are in focus now. Might not be on the bloggy. The bloggy takes a second to focus. So the other thing is, uh, the other thing you can do if it's really bright and you can't see the screen that well, down here on the bottom, there's a button that when you hit it, it says a uh, manual MF assist right there. So this button is manual focus assist and it'll zoom in so that you can get a better idea of what you're focusing on. And then you can, when you hit record on the movie up here, it goes um, right into record mode and zooms back out. You can even zoom in closer to get it really crisp on whatever it is. And when you hit movie, it'll jump back to that and you see the salt shaker's out of focus. And then when you hit stop, it stays there. Now, when you're recording, uh, this button doesn't work for manual focus assist. Um, so, there you go. And yeah, one last thing for low light. Uh, let me see if I can get this in the video real quick. For low light, if I go to, um, say, manual, you can see how bright everything is. <clears throat> so, I'll, um, I'll darken that up a little bit. And I'll make it a little extra dark so it gets good image. Alright. And then I hit record. Uh, you probably can't see in the bloggy, but it's a little dark. If you hit down on this little scroll wheel here, you get this arrow up and down. And if you go up, you can lighten the scene up. And then if you go back down, you can darken the scene up. So if you go, if you're out, if you're outside shooting and you have it dark, as you, uh, this is exposure compensation. When you go inside where it's darker, you can lighten it up as you're walking inside get it just right when you're in manual mode and then you just hit the center button to to get out of that so it's real quick to get to that to fine-tune things um, so far I've had you know I've had the camera for a couple days uh, three days four days and uh, I still like it a lot especially like my favorite thing is this tilt screen that's pretty wicked. 
and the uh, low light video is uh, awesome on it. All right, I'm gonna keep it short. Um, hope that helps.